Hey guys, it's Mal of RTC1. Let's do some dead shade. Oh wait, I can't go back to it. Oh, I fell for it first. Here we are. Which one should I rent? Level 8, level 6, level 6. I think it's apparent. Let's pick the level 8. I would be really curious to know what kind of cards everybody has summoned so far. If anybody has done the four star summon, because some of those may result in new cards, which I haven't seen yet. If you've summoned anything particularly awesome, uh, go ahead and put so in the comments below. I'd love to hear what it is, because I want to summon some rare awesome stuff too. And I want to know what's possibly on the plate in the future, you know? That would be pretty awesome. If you could do that. If you guys have been following me all along the way, you know that I'm just kind of going through the game. Piece by piece, little by little, learning along the way. I've made some mistakes. I'm sure we all have. I'm trying to learn out some of the things like the summons, the daily dungeons, how things work with what items you want to hold on to and which items you are okay to get rid of and which items you want to store up. I mean, it's been it's been a long journey even just in the first couple of hours. I've been like this is unlike any other Final Fantasy game I've ever played. Um I do like the job class system. I do like a lot of the features of it, but this has been one journey where I've just been like, there is so much confusing crap in here, but very fun. And I've just been leaving it on auto mode for the most part. I guess it's um, this right here. I'm not quite sure what this button does. If you guys know what it is, somebody asked about it the other day. I don't know what it does. We got a boss battle ahead of us. One of these three bosses again. You guys are probably way ahead of me. Um, I'm taking it a little bit slower so I can get every video in here of every area. So in case you are looking back in the area and like, what happened there again? You can look back on my Let's Plays. Um, also, you can share these let play Let's Plays with your friends so that it may get them interested in the game. Um, you know, they can check out the graphics and if you want to try to get a friend into the game as well, this may be the way to do it. You're like, check out this guy. Check out Mel Art this one. He's, he's got some videos all along the way. That's me. Now, I noticed that when you get the panels done of, of a particular job, it opens up a second job of that particular class. I wonder what mage will go into, if it will go into anything in particular or anything special. I know there's also white mage or black mage, or black mage I think maybe comes out in batch two, but I wonder like what mage turns into, like what its later on classes are or its later jobs are. I mean, I could always check out the JP and just see what's going on in their servers, but I want to kind of leave it a little bit surprising at the same time while I'm learning. Let's follow this guy. Sure, why not? Ah, oh, Phoenix Down. I'm sure these Phoenix Downs will help a lot more in the future. As for now... It seems like it's not a big of a deal. Somebody's got a level 8 Kirin. Um, yeah, let's go with this one. 
I got a level 8 Onion Knight going on. That's my 4 star summon. That's what, if you guys didn't see that video. 4 star summon of a Onion Knight. Which is okay. I mean, I would have rather had to be like some awesome guardian or something like that. Like, Quetzalcoatl or, you know. I would be even fine with this E-Freak. Um, but it had to be the 4 star Onion Knight. He seems pretty good though. He, I mean, he's got 4... Um, for attack, he's got like 500 something. It's like really high. Um, the sad part is I don't use the um, warrior type. I want to get a warrior type. I want to get like the Dark Knight or something in Batch 2. That would be so sweet. So awesome. But that doesn't come out for a couple more weeks. Well, I'm going to try it. I'm tr going to try for that. I mean, I'm going to save up my magic site and try as many job classes as I can to try to get... Mr. Dark Knight, uh, and I'll do a video of that, um, probably only have enough Magicite by the time that happens for, like, two or three summons, because it comes so slowly, but maybe they'll give a, give away some Magicite in the meantime, or some rare ticket summons, um, I know they're gonna give away one each day for, like, a week, and then, like, a few summon tickets in between, uh, through events, so... Hopefully that happens, and I'll have a lot more chances, but I am definitely wanting that dark knight, so that's what I'm going after. If there's any particular jobs you guys are going after, you're like, oh, I totally want the ranger thief dude, or I totally want um, dragoon. I don't, I don't know if dragoon's out yet, but or how long it will be, but if there's something like, oh, I really want that... Um, and there's ones that I know they haven't implemented in the game yet, even on Japan, where I'd be totally, like, awesome if, it, if that was a certain type. Um, for example, there was a guy talking in one of my, uh, Let's Play videos. He, he um, left a comment about, um, uh, wanting Zidane, wants a certain character, and that would be cool. That, that's gonna be awesome when they start introducing that. That's gonna be, like, Cloud, Zidane, Lightning, etc., etc. Um, I really want Squall. Squall with a gun blade. It would be really sick. Like, just pow, you know, while they're attacking. Squall's always been one of my favorites of Final Fantasy characters. I mean, he's kind of a loner, but he's got a really cool moveset. And that's all I really care about with the attacking and the damage and all that. Okay, it looks like that ends there for Deep Scar. Um, let's, let's do one more level. Let's do this uh, Mount Gilborn with the with the chest there, teleport to the abandoned outpost here. And I don't know if there's any limit to these these um, teleports. I don't know if I'm wasting anything in particular, but I, I do it just because they, like, it's letting me. <laughs> so, um, I see there's warp shards here, but I don't know if that does anything in particular. So I, I've had zero this entire time, so I don't know if it does anything. Um, yeah, let's, let's go. I think the warp shard is to, like, skip a dungeon. That's right. That, they're to skip a dungeon, which I don't want to skip anything. I want to I want to go through the whole shebang. Let's do Mount Caburn. Once you get Mount Caburn out of the way, then uh, that will be the end of this Let's Play. And, uh, yeah, I'll try to figure out. I'm trying to experiment with this thing to see what happens. Maybe if, like, my limit break goes up and then I press it, maybe it will unleash the limit break. So I'll try that. Okay, so limit break is up. Let's try it. What happens when I have that? No, it didn't do anything. Hmm. Still not quite sure what it does. I don't ever use this target view. I mean, I could choose target, right? But never gonna use it. Never gonna give you up. <laughs> never gonna use it ever. Anyways, um, yeah. If you guys know what that button does next to the auto attack mode, this this little thing right here that's going on now. 
I don't even know. No idea what that is. I love my Max, uh, three star uh, Let's Cuddle. It's pretty sick. And I and I don't ever use um, Yuna, even though I've got the heals. I've got to heals, but but I don't use her because uh, I haven't been getting low enough. For example, I'll use her right now just to boom, heal me up. Yeah, full heal. Those heals are OP. That's why I keep her on me, just in case like something does gargantuan amount of damage. I can just heal it all up. Especially with someone like a low HP, low defense um, player like a mage. Going through the game as a mage is going to be a little tricky, but I don't mind. Mages are cool. Some more gill. I don't need gill anymore. I've got the 1 million gill package. So, I don't really need that. Let's see what happens if I go to Hero's Rest. Well, I guess I have to teleport back here. Well, uh, okay, I'll do, I'll do one more. I'll do one more. Let's do Hero's Rest. Let's see what happens if I go down that path. That way you can choose in your game, hey, which, which way do I want to go first? Um, which has the better abilities, which has the better skills. So can I not use the ones with the uh, exclamation mark? We'll see. Oh, I guess I can. Maybe won't be able to use them in battle, but it's worth giving it a try. Try to give me a good range of abilities too. So I've got one here for fire, one up here for ice, one up here for wind, one up one for support. And I usually try to pick um, one that I'm missing. In this case, I picked the earth, obviously. But uh, if I can't find one that I'm missing, or there's one obviously of a level eight or something strong, I'll pick that instead. What's your guys' strategy? Do you guys go in with all certain type, or do you just lay it all out like I did, where you? Pick one of every type. Be interested to know because I want to know if there's strategies that are better than others. So I can I can not only hear it and use it for myself, but other people can see your comments and be like, "Oh, that actually is a good strategy. I need to I need to implement that as well." Or things you've read or heard from other servers. So yeah, that goes off on another one as well. So uh, yeah, we'll end the video here, but um, in future video we'll probably go down this path first and then take the other one right afterwards i uh, hope you oh yeah this one goes up to what drake's drake's grave and the other one goes up to doesn't look like anything particular um yeah hope you like and subscribe thank you this has been malavar tc1 signing off